welcome to all. Welcome my new students to online class. Day before yesterday, I have taken a grammar class for the students of class 9 and 10. It's like this. And today, I have come to you for discussing in online class about suffixes and prefixes and affixes for the students of class 9. Especially, this is much, much more important for the students of class 8, 9, and 10. And let's go to the board. What will I discuss with you? And today, I am going to discuss about the about English for the students of class 9 and topic suffixes, prefixes, and affixes. And before going to the chapter, we have to know that what is what do you mean by suffixes, prefixes, and affixes? And uh, what is suffixes? And the word part and syllable. And if you add a syllable after the main word, it's called suffix. And if you add a syllable before the main word, it's called prefixes. And if you add syllables, one syllable before and one syllable after. And both sides, if you add the syllable with the main word, is called affixes. For an example, you see suffixes. If you find the main word honest, main word honest, and if you add a syllable while then it will be honesty. You see, honesty. And this is suffixes. As well as, and if you add the syllable with the main word before, with, if you add the syllable before the main word, is called prefixes. Pre, pre means before. For an example, this plus honesty. This honesty. And this is prefixes and if you add syllable before and after with the main word then it will call affixes for an example you add this and main word is honest and second syllable is why this honesty and you add it the syllables before and after the main word this is called dishonesty and this is called affixes and this is a very simple definition of suffixes, prefixes, and affixes. Now I am going to details. Before going to the chapter, three main topic you have to understand. Okay? You have to know the meaning. Meaning of the given passes. You have to know meaning of the main word. You have to know the meaning of the new word and these two things are the main topics main goals to understand to do to make solution about suffixes prefixes and affixes first you have to know you have to understand the meaning of the given passage the meaning of the given passes and what well, you have to know the meaning of the given passes what will you find in the question paper and if you don't understand the meaning of the passes and it will not be easy for you to make suffixes and prefixes affixes and secondly the meaning of the main word okay the given word the keyword you have to know the meaning of the keyword 
and lastly, the meaning of the new word. And when you make, and when you will make the suffixes, prefixes, and affixes, and what will that mean? What will what what will it mean after making suffix? You have to understand. Overall, this chapter is meaningful. And every part, every corner, pros and cons, you have to know the meaning of the sentences, meaning of the changing parts, meaning of the suffixes. And for an example, I am showing you about writing a key basis. For an example, Honest, this is the main word. Honest is a great virtue. You see, and here is the passes. Here is the passes. You see, number eight, honest is a great virtue, but nobody likes a honest part person. So we need to be honest because everybody hates honest. And you see, and three things, and three things we have to make in suffix, prefix, and affixes for an example and in first i have i told you that you have to know the meaning of the passes honest is a great virtue and what does it mean and it is meaningless word sentence so you have to write here honesty you see honesty honesty is a great virtue and this is a meaningful sentence so this is suffix honesty is a great virtue but nobody likes a dash person and nobody likes a dishonest person you see this is meaningful sentence nobody likes a dishonest person here dishonest is a prefix okay so we need to be honest because everybody hates dishonesty dishonesty and this is affixes so before making before solution uh, i have written honest is a great virtue but nobody likes a honest person so we need to be honest because everybody hates honest now after completing suffixes prefixes and affixes what will it what have done i have done this honesty is a great virtue this is uh, i have added a Y syllable and this is a suffix but nobody likes a, a, a dishonest person this I have added this uh, syllable before this main word honest dishonest person so we need to be honest because everybody has dishonesty I have added 
this and y, okay? Uh, with the main word honest, and this is affixes. My dear students, uh, I hope and believe that you all have understood what I have said and what I have discussed with you. Now I am giving a, uh, I am giving you a homework. Okay. Now I am giving you passes, and uh, you will be able to, uh, you will be, you will try to make you understand. You will try best uh, at your home. Okay. Once there was a king named Midas. He was fond of gold. One day, why he was seat under an apple tree sudden a ripe apple fall beside him but when he touch the apple it turn turn into gold he became surprised He ran to the palace and demanded demand food. And this is a passage, and uh, and you will try at your home to do homework. And once there was a king named Midas. He was on the board one day while he was here sit under an apple tree be sudden a ripe apple fall beside him. But when he touched the apple it turned into gold. He was became surprised and he ran to the palace and demanded and there are five keywords and I hope and believe that all the students have understood what I have discussed today and gradually I will discuss later on and I request you to join online class. Thank you very much.